Welcome to Aircom's Welding Shop. In today's video, we are going to be demonstrating the installation instructions for our BTV thermocoupler. For a copy of these instructions, please visit our website, or if you're watching this video on YouTube, we have added the links below. Follow facility-specific procedures that align with welding a BTB onto a boiler or furnace tube. The tube weld locations should be clean and free of any contaminants. Uncoil and lay out the BTB sensor and MI, or mineral insulated cable, as desired. Industry best practice is to route the MI cable away from direct heat exposure as soon as possible on the tube. Apply side welds with a 1 8 inch fillet weld 3 8 of an inch long at the opposite end from the thermal coupled junction, one pass and typical both sides. Industry best practice is to use a GTAW welding process and a 1 16 inch filler rod. Apply the sensor weld after the side welds with a 1 8 inch fillet weld. One pass across the thermocouple junction and maintain a low heat input. This process will fuse the thermocouple junction onto the pipe wall. Apply the sensor cap weld at least two minutes after the sensor weld. Again, with a one pass, one eighth inch fillet weld across the sensor weld and maintain a low heat input. Tack the MI cable clamps to the tube with fillet weld matching the thickness and the outer edge length. One tack per side ensuring the MI cable is free to move underneath the clamp. Center the insulation packed shroud over the block. Tack the shroud into place with a 1 8 inch fillet welds one quarter of an inch long, two tacks per side. Add provisions to protect the MI cable against thermal expansion effects to prevent high stresses due to restricted movement at elevated temperatures. Make sure not to exceed the MI cable allowable bend radius of 4D. Okay, to wrap up today's video on the installation of this BTB, I'm just gonna take a quick moment to walk through what we did here. So we started at this end. First thing we had to do was make sure the surface of the pipe was clean and free of contaminants. We then laid out the MI cable with the best tools we had available. Depending on your location, depending on what you're doing, you might use the attachment banding we use, there could be some other mechanism you use, but we laid out and routed the MI cable the way we wanted it to be laid out. We did our side welds on each side of the BTB. Then we did our one of the most important welds, which was the sensor weld, and then we did the sensor cap weld. We welded on the MI cable clamp, and in our case, we did it roughly 8 to 12 inches back from the BTB. One important note, we routed the MI cable away from the flame. So in our example here, we're just going to say the flame is coming at the BTB this way, and a lot of times, you guys might actually go right underneath the tube. For today's demonstration, we just wanted to show you. We're getting it away, and we just did this by a simple kind of hand bend and put another MI cable clamp there to hold it. This piece here, and it does not have to look like this, this is just the way we did it today. This allows for thermal expansion and contraction. The MI cable and the BTB has to be able to move and expand and contract as the furnace tubes do. So we've just thrown in some bends being mindful of the bend radius of the MI cable. And we've thrown another clamp into place here. So in our example, we put the expansion loop close to the BTB where you guys could see it. In reality, this pipe could be a lot longer than this and your expansion loop could be further away or not even look like that. What would happen next, obviously, is these two passes would continue to go through the furnace and the MI cable would exit the vessel wall. So there's going to be a wall here of sorts. What I'll show you here is there's many different ways to get a BTB and MI cable outside of the vessel. One way we, we do it here at Aircom, we call this a gas seal union.
So this would thread onto the wall. Your boiler or furnace would be on this side. You have a gas seal happening inside of this union. And now you have an electrical connection here to thread on potentially a process transmitter, maybe a junction box where you would terminate the BTV and run the wires to the control system. So thank you for joining us today and watching this YouTube video on welding our boiler tube block onto a simulated furnace boiler tube right here in our welding shop. If you enjoyed this video, maybe you can share it with uh, somebody else who might like it. And if you have questions or you want more information on what we did here or on the BTB itself, feel free to drop us a line. You can leave a comment below, reach out to us, and we'd be happy to get back to you and answer your questions. Thanks again.